Hey guys, Luke 19 here, and today I'm doing a new LEGO Star Wars 2017 set review. This is from Rogue One. It's the LEGO Rebel Trooper Battle Pack, ages 6 to 12, set number 75164, and has 120 pieces. It's 15 bucks, which I thought is pretty crazy. Um, not really into that, um, but I guess prices go up or whatever, so let's get into it. So our first guy here is a uh, just a rebel trooper. These guys are in the Battle of Scarif in Rogue One, if you haven't seen that already. So this guy's got some cool detail here. I don't know if you can see the leg printing on his legs. He's got the stud shooter blaster, which I'm not a fan of. I think they're annoying. Um, his face kind of looks like um, Lord of the Rings face back when Lego made those. And on the back. And he has the helmet where you can put the goggles on those knots as well. Here's our next guy. He's got um, the tan body there. He's got the dark gray pants and darkish blue helmet, which I think is um, a really, really cool color. I like the face on him. He's got some nice printing. And there's the back of him. Here's the next guy. He's got all dark gray leg and torso. It looks kind of weird with this combination, so I'm not a big fan of the torso and leg combo like that. He's got the new uh, Rogue One style helmet that the Rebels have. And he's got some nice detail on the back there. There's that guy. Here's our next guy. I really like his torso and leg combo there. It's a really cool guy. Take a look at the detail there. Looks really nice. He's got the larger blaster there. He's got some cool detail on the back. Kind of sick of this face. They give it in every single Rebel set now, so it's pretty annoying getting the same face. I wish they mix it up a little bit more, but that's what it is. There's that guy. And here's a close-up of the speeder you get in the set. It's a smaller speeder. It's really cool. There's a lot of new pieces on it, as you can see. Like this 1x2 uh, wing piece there on the front. Looks pretty cool. I think those are blasters right there, where the these two um, two pieces come out. I really like the color scheme on this one. There's room for binoculars to put on. Actually, I don't think this set comes with binoculars. That's just mine. Ignore that. Um, and you get blaster, and you get these pieces here for the handlebars. And the dark gray looks really cool on this set. I mean, dark 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 gray and um. The dark green combo looks really cool. And here's how it looks if you have a pilot on the speeder. Next up here is the turret you get in the set. It's a really cool um, idea. Cool creation. On the back here, there's a new kind of piece, I think. And there's just some really cool detail. It's kind of like sandbags, and the seats is cover. Up here there's the turret um, where you can move this up and oops, can move this up and down. Spin this around however you want. So that's really cool. There's room for a guy to sit on it and it's really nice. And here's how it looks if you have a gunner on it. It's got another stud shooter there. So you can shoot those out if you want to. Overall, it's just a great set. If you're looking to stack up on your Rebel Army. And it's got some great pieces. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, if you saw my new uh, Rogue One Army video, you could see that there's another anti-aircraft turret that someone made on YouTube. So I'll probably do a review on that coming up later this week or something. And also you can do a lot of cool combinations with uh, Rebel guys. You can mix them up however you want to. I actually have two of these sets so you can make some cool combinations on your second round. Because I like to keep the first one as how the original guys in the box look. So anyways, I definitely recommend this set. It's $15. You can find them at your store or whatever. So definitely get this one. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and bye.